Closer to the passing of the CHIPS Act and landing of the Intel project, Ohio is set to see a great deal of growth in the area of microchip manufacturing. In Lorain County, there's a special program training the next generation of manufacturers, not in the hopes of finding a job, but with a guarantee of it. News 5's John Kosick shows us. When you think of training the next generation of manufacturers, you probably think of a dark, often dirty, loud environment. Not this. So the one that's just a little bit, just reflow. A sterile room with special overhead yellow lighting where the next generation of microelectronic manufacturing workers look more like medical workers. The special program at Lorain County Community College, one of a handful in the country where this is the classroom. Week one, day one, there in the laboratory, we put a soldering iron in one hand, a pair of tweezers in the other hand. We say, let's build circuit boards. Let's get you trained to work for these companies. It's what attracted Josh to the program. I love all those hand-on work, and it actually feels like I'm moving towards a position somewhere. Yes, it's almost guaranteed. The program works with 82 companies across Northeast Ohio that are ready to offer the program's graduates immediate employment. As a result, over the last nine years, we have had 100% job placement for all graduates of both our associate's degrees and our bachelor's degree. On top of that, 80% of students who have completed their first year are also working part-time in the industry. Oh, and that next generation of manufacturers in this room on this day literally spans all generations from 16 to 68. Russell Rozak of Sheffield Lake being the latter. He says you're never too old to learn. Technology now is so advanced, it left me behind for a while until I started going to school. And I'm opening up doors and learning, learning fields and areas that I've never seen before. Senator Sherrod Brown getting a first-hand look at the training being done on this day and with Intel bringing thousands of these jobs to the state and these workers already basically spoken for, we asked him. Are we in a position to, to fill the Intel jobs given what you've seen today? Well, I, we, we are. It's a challenge that is going to be hard, but we will do it. And I, I think you start with this. The folks at Lorraine County Community College agree. With Intel coming here, it means that we've got to be able to offer more training and experience to our community to be able to get them hired in at Intel and their supplier partners. An often overlooked trickle-down impact of bringing a chip manufacturer of this size to the state. In Lorraine County, John Kasich, News 5. And Lorraine County Community College is one of a number of schools in the state getting some of the $50 million Intel's promised to invest in Ohio colleges and universities to grow talent and address workforce shortages in the semiconductor industry. Case Western, Kent State, Ohio State also among the schools now working together to expand training and programming.